Okay, so this is the uh, finals of the 2014 Combat Con Sword and Buckler Tournament. In the red corner, we have Mr. Adam Simmons from the Phoenix Society out of uh, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Yay. Yay! Yay. Um, and then out of Turlock, California, Mr. Uh, Gemini Asante from the Knights. Ninth Quest in Turkey. And, uh, okay, are our judges ready? Ready? Is our table ready? Yeah. Are our judges ready? ready? And quit!
Congratulations, gentlemen. It was fantastic to watch. How are you feeling about this? Uh, really, really good. I think uh, Sergeant Buckler is something that's coming more and more into prominence. Um, I'm a favorite of a fan of the older style, and so having something with shields um, brings a different flavor to a lot of the competitions. It brings a, a different look for people. Um, it's kind of exciting to see the, the motion with both the shield and the sword working. So um, it's one of my favorite styles, so I really enjoy participating in something like this. And you get to see people from all across the country and really challenge yourself with, with things you haven't seen before. Fantastic, fantastic. All right. I think sword and buckler is a lot of fun. It's very flashy. <laughs> so it should be done more. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Mr. Cup, how about yourself? For, come right here. for me, I like sword and buckler because I think it's a very noble uh, weapon combination. It was in the 16th century Italian manuscripts. Those are the ones I like to study. So the Manchiolino book upon which these rule, this rule set was based upon, Morozzo, Dalgokie, you know, all those guys. I just love to read them. They're, they're flowery language when they want to be flowery, but when they get down to talking about how do you use these techniques effectively, whether it's for play or for actually killing somebody in a duel. I just, I love to look at the pictures, read those words, and just sort of feel a 500 year communication with them. Like, how could they have imagined that 500 years later we'd be here reading their books, using their rule sets in complete, with complete sincerity and respect? So that's what I like about being in a sword and buckler tournament with these fine gentlemen. Well said. Yeah, fantastic. All right, and Mr. Paradox. Um, I mean, honestly, uh, really just watching tournament, you get to see people's actual instincts come out. You get to see um, the training that they've done as, you know, long-standing different, you know, ways of approaching. Just seeing the different styles of each performer was really astounding. Um, uh, Gemini's stance of, of holding up and being very relaxed and almost like a waiting style, whereas yours was a, like a quick presencing. You know, it's like just being able to witness the individual in, in their form and then really like as they come to the clash, really seeing like how they show up. So there was a, a tremendous, it was actually an amazing bout, really beautiful to watch the whole way through. And uh, yeah, I was really impressed with it. Love, love Sword and Buckler. Just the fact that there's, you know, it's like the, 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 small, the small shield to me is just like, it's, it's athletic, it's, it's um, quick and light, and you really have the ability to directly relate to the weapon that's coming at you. So it's a beautiful instinct-based thing, and great training and amazing performances on all parts. Great, thank you so much. And congratulations guys, fantastic, fantastic job. Thank you Absolutely. very much. Thank you.